The last topic we are going to talk about for lecture one is about the Faraday constant and the Faraday's law. Okay, you probably learned this in your physics class, but let's just refresh our mind. Remember, for a simple electrochemical cell, the amount of charge transferred in the reaction what people find is that it's linearly related to the amount of product generated or reactant consumed. Okay, that's kind of Faraday's law. And uh, to understand it, let's first look at uh, electron charge. We know that one column or one C is 6.24 times 10 to the power of 18 of electrons. That is one C, one column, is this many of electron charge. And from here, we are going to get one electron. The charge for one electron is 1 over 6.24 times 10 to the 18 of C or column. Okay, so this is the relationship between Coulomb and the electron charge. And we said, okay, if we're going to represent the electron charge in Coulomb, this is what we are going to get. Meanwhile, we know that one mole of electron would be our gradual number of electron, or 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 of electron. Okay? With these two in mind, the Faraday constant is defined as the electrical charge in Coulomb or in C per mole of electron. The electrical charge in Coulomb per mole of electron. So Faraday constant would be the charge in C or Coulomb per electron, which is given by 1 over 6.24 times 10 to the power of 18. This many column per electron times our gradual number of electron. And uh, the result is roughly 96.485 column per mole. That is the common Faraday constant. 96485, 96,485 coulomb per mole. That represents the electrical charge in coulomb per mole of electron. That's the definition for Faraday constant. It relates coulomb with molar. It relates coulomb in charge and the the quantity of material in mole. Okay, that's the Faraday constant. Keep that in mind. And then, what is Faraday's law? The law says the mass, in its simplest form, it says the mass or weight of metal deposited in a simple electrolytic reaction. When I say simple electrolytic reaction, I mean there is no side reaction such as hydrogen evolution or um, formation reduction of oxygen gas or some other species. There's no side reaction. The only thing that got reduced is metal ion to deposit become metal. The mass of metal deposited uh, in a pure or simple electrolytic reaction is given by this equation. M, small m for the mass of metal deposited equals to capital M times Q divided by Z times F. Okay. Capital M is for atomic mass. It has a unit of gram per mole for that particular metal of interest. Q is a total past charge in the unit of column. Total past charge in this electrolytic reaction. And the Z is a valence for the metal ion. It's unitless. If, let's say for zinc, it will be 
zinc ion has two plus, so Z would be two for um, some other metal, it may be three for aluminum, such as for aluminum, it will be three. And F is fairly constant, and as we said, it's 96,485 coulomb per mole. Okay, so this gives us a fairly constant. And what we mentioned in the beginning, it relates electrical effect charge with chemical change, the amount of mass deposited in this simple mathematical relationship. Okay, and as we said, it's linearly proportional. The amount of charge transferred Q is linearly related to the product generated or reactant consumed. We're going to talk about this more using examples later.